Hey guys, I'm going to show you a couple projects I've been working on the past couple few days. Uh, now that i got the slabs caught up for everybody. i um, got a little few minute to short break from my other job. Um, let's see, where should I start? Here's the um, piece of steel that Chris gave me. Turn that into that uh, clip point. Um, instead of doing this edge break, I decided to put a finger troil in there. And it fits pretty good. I might make it a little deeper. I shrunk the handle just a little bit. I might go a little bit smaller. We'll see. Um, any other tips before I send it out to heat treat? Let me know, guys. Got my little swedge on there. Probably have to clean that up a little bit. Chris, you said don't make it thicker than a dime. Or thinner than a dime. So, it's kind of hard to see there, but should be about right. Um, got my line there for my blade. Oh, um, those of you guys who know, do I need to thin this out anymore before I heat treat it or should I leave it wait till it's heat treated and then maybe thin it out some more because it's thinner down here than up here um, you can feel it graduate uh, it just takes forever on that 1 by 30 I'm you know having a little trouble getting it to contour right here without creating an edge so any helpful hints would be grateful. I'd be very grateful, guys. And let me know, Chris, if I need to do anything else to it before I send it back to you to get heat treated. If I need to clean out some of these scratches. Most of them are pretty superficial. It's pretty smooth. I went over it with 400 grit, you know, progressively. So that's a custom guy. I think it's kind of a negative angle. Yep. Learned that from Brother Marshall. Negative angle. Good for stabbing people. Uh, see, I've been working on this project for a while. I've had a couple different uh, incarnations of it. And I finally just decided just to go straightforward smooth. Because this is my dad's knife and he's, he's a pretty straightforward guy. He doesn't like all that fancy carving stuff. So I just decided to do a nice even sand on both sides. And this is, it looks like it's black, but it's actually green. Green and white. And if you look really closely, you can actually see the gold edges on there. Because the white paper was lined with a gold fleck. So you can see the gold right there on the edges. In person it's a lot better. It really pops. Uh, but that's, I've been working on this one for a while. I should have had this one done for his birthday last month. But I've been working that new job pretty hard. And I did uh, make sure I dremeled out a little space in there. So that the liner lock can be pushed out of the way. And it functions perfectly. And previously I did polish the internals here. All the contact points. So it is just buttery smooth. It's a neat knife. Kind of reminds me of the first Batman. I think it was the first Michael Keaton Batman when the Joker had those spinning hypnotized things. It kind of looks like that. Fits a lot better in the hand than these crappy old fake plastic bone things that came on it. Those are a joke. It's definitely a lot fatter. Yeah, twice as thick. So hopefully he likes that. It's a fun little knife. Uh, project number three. Dad dropped off this uh, old cold steel knife. 
Cold Steel Carbon V USA. Um, I've kind of changed it quite a bit, but if anybody knows anything about this, let me know. He just picked it up at a Salvation Army for like four bucks. It was a spear point, uh, but I took it down to a clip point because you guys know I like the clip points. Um, it did have a, uh, uh, let's see, back here, it had the bump on both sides. It was like an hourglass, and I just sanded that down so it's one-sided. Um, and then I cut in some finger grooves here. I might make this a little more aggressive and put a handle on it, clean it up a little bit. That's project number three. This one's got a ways to go. I'm trying to decide if I want to sand off that coating or not. May have to to make it match because I already sanded it off the sides. So, if anybody knows where that came from, what that is, Cold Steel Carbon V. And the last one, that big Smith & Wesson I bought the other day. Um, I decided to put the Skull Guy Carta on there. It's turning out pretty good. It's only about 75% done. Uh, gotta take the handles back off. They're just double stick taped on there. Take them off and clean this up the way I want it. Maybe do some more shaping on the handles and then paint the metal black again on the parts that got sanded. But that's pretty cool, huh guys? You can see those skulls in there. Ah. So tell me what you think guys. If you have any ideas, modifications, let me know. Alright, tell me what you think of those skulls. Pretty cool, huh? Alright guys, take care. Have a good night.